Deseret Book Listen is an American publishing company headquartered in Salt Lake City, Utah, that also operates a chain of bookstores throughout the western United States. It is a wholly owned subsidiary of Deseret Management Corporation, the holding company for business firms owned by The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church. Deseret Book is a for-profit corporation registered in Utah. Deseret Book publishes under four imprints with media ranging from works explaining LDS theology and doctrine, LDS-related fiction, electronic resources, and sound recordings such as Mormon Tabernacle Choir albums. History The Deseret Book Company was created in 1919 from a merger of the Deseret News Bookstore and the Deseret Sunday School Union Bookstore. Both of these Utah bookstores trace their roots to George Q. Cannon, a Latter-day Saint General Authority. Deseret is a word from the Book of Mormon that is said to mean honeybee. Topic George Q. Cannon and Sons George Q. Cannon published the first issue of Juvenile Instructor magazine in 1866. Cannon organized the Deseret Sunday School Union, an LDS church organization responsible for educating young members of the LDS church, and the magazine was the first church periodical oriented toward youth. Cannon opened the George Q. Cannon and Sons bookstore in 1867 to sell the magazine and other publications of an uplifting nature. Cannon believed that secular novels did not reflect Latter-day Saint values. In the 1880s, Cannon expanded with a branch in Ogden, Utah. It is not known how many books Cannon and Sons actually published itself. In this era, authors commonly self-published their books, which were then distributed by others. However, Cannon and Sons distributed several important books through their stores and mail order see table. The company had extensive ties to the LDS church-owned newspaper, the Deseret News. Five of Cannon's sons held important positions in the paper, and Cannon himself was editor between 1867 and 1872, and again while temporarily owning the paper from 1892 to 1898. Nearly every George Q. Cannon and Sons book was printed on the Deseret News Press. Cannon sold the bookstore to the LDS Church in 1900, near the end of his life. The church combined the two businesses, and the remaining Salt Lake City bookstore became Deseret News Bookstore. Deseret News Bookstore By 1906, Deseret News Press had a linotype machine and dedicated book press. Many significant volumes were published and distributed through the Deseret News Bookstore. Of these, the most successful was James E. Talmage's Jesus the Christ. Published in 1915, the book quickly went through numerous printings as the first presidency of the LDS Church authorized its use in its Sunday school program. Meanwhile, the Deseret Sunday School Union, still publishing the money-losing juvenile instructor struggled to maintain its distribution center, the Deseret Sunday School Union Bookstore. Aimed at church supply, the Sunday School Bookstore sold textbooks, minutes ledgers, sacrament trays, as well as popular books. 
Since 1891 the non-profit union asked for yearly five-cent contributions from Sunday school pupils on Nickel Sunday. Facing over $12,000 in debt in 1914, requested donations increased to $0.10, cents, and 1919 a committee formed to study the organization's solvency. Led by Talmadge, the committee recommended consolidation of the Sunday School Bookstore with the Deseret News Bookstore. Topic Deseret Book By 1920, both antecedent bookstores were closed and a single new Deseret Book Company building was constructed in downtown Salt Lake City at site of the former ZCMI Center Mall. Ownership of Deseret Book was split between the Deseret News and the Deseret Sunday School Union 30%. However, the union would manage the bookstore until 1932 when Deseret Book was incorporated for profit as the Utah Company. The Deseret News bought out the Sunday School Union in 1948 to become sole owner of the bookstore, but both the Deseret News and Deseret Book are now subsidiaries of the Deseret Management Corporation, which manages several for-profit assets of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Deseret News Press printed nearly all Deseret Book publications until the 1960s when the company began seeking other competitive bids. Through the 1930s, the bookstore focused mostly on Sunday school needs such as lesson manuals. Though the bookstore introduced relatively few new authors, several important works were published in this period. Notably, B. H. Roberts' magnum opus, the six-volume Comprehensive History of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 1930. Deseret Book did not accept manuscripts for publication until the 1940s when the company made a push for new authors. Deseret Book expanded into motion picture equipment and photographic supplies in the 1940s. Winning an exclusive contract to distribute for Bell and Howell in Utah and parts of Idaho and Wyoming, Deseret Book supplied 16mm film projectors to the LDS Church. Becoming a film distribution and rental outfit, the Deseret Book Censorship Committee on Films was established in 1946 because regular employees were unable to review all the films it handled. By 1950, 18 members sat on the committee. Preceding modern LDS cinema by over 50 years, Deseret Book founded Deseret Film Productions in 1947. The first film, produced by Frank Wise, was Where the Saints Have Trod, an 80-minute film celebrating the 100-year anniversary of Mormon pioneers entering Salt Lake Valley. Wise subsequently produced Temple Square, a 30-minute film tour of Salt Lake City's most popular tourist draw. Deseret Film recorded over 120 LDS General Conference talks over a six-year period. Intended for rental to wards, the conference talks are the first motion pictures of LDS conferences. In the 1950s, BYU established a motion picture department which attracted Frank Wise. Deseret Film Productions was gradually disbanded. Soon, KSL-TV began covering general conferences. Deseret Books' downtown location remained the only store until 1959 when site for an Ogden, Utah branch was donated. Stores in Orange, California and Greater Salt Lake County opened in malls in 1962. 
In the 1970s, the original location was torn down to make way for the ZCMI Center Mall where the store reopened on April 2, 1976 during a general conference to large late crowds. Several more mall locations opened in the 1970s, in Northridge, California, Boise, Idaho, and many more locations in Utah. In 1997 Deseret Book opened its first Washington State location in the city of Bellevue. By 2004, Deseret Book operated over 33 stores in nine western U.S. states. Expanding its reach in eastern Idaho, the chain also purchased Beehive Bookstores, located in Rexburg, Idaho Falls, and Blackfoot, Idaho. Deseret Book already operated in Idaho Falls at the Grand Teton Mall and in Rexburg. The new store in Rexburg has expanded merchandise selection from the prior two stores. In the late 1970s, Deseret Book coordinated publication of new editions of the King James Version of the Bible and the Book of Mormon, Doctrine and Covenants, Pearl of Great Price, Triple Combination. The 1979 publication of the Bible was the first geared toward Latter-day Saints. A comparably styled, triple combination was introduced in 1981. With notes from the Joseph Smith translation, James E. Talmage's scripture commentary, and an index and topical guide, the new editions are now standard in the LDS Church. Typesetting for the volumes was done by Cambridge University Press. Deseret Book began publishing LDS fiction for the first time in 1979. In 1986 it purchased Mormon Handicraft a handmade craft store from the Relief Society. As inventory and distribution was centralized in 1984, Deseret Book expanded its lines to include items such as center rings and more popular music. In 2002 Sherry L. Jew became the first female CEO and president of Deseret Book. Deseret Book established new corporate offices and downtown Salt Lake City retail space during the redevelopment of the Crossroads Plaza Mall into the City Creek Center. In 2007, the corporate headquarters, with around 160 employees, moved into the top seven floors of the Utah Woolen Mills Clothiers Building across the street from Temple Square. In April 2010 Deseret Book opened its «flagship» store in the City Creek Center. This new store sits almost exactly on the same location as the first Deseret Book location. Acquisitions Bookcraft In early 1999, Bookcraft was acquired by Deseret Book. This allowed them to expand in the larger, values-oriented, publishing market. The merger also brought more writings by general authorities under the church's ownership, allowing for electronic and print collaborations with other Deseret Management Corporation entities, the Deseret News and Bonneville International and church entities such as Brigham Young University, the church educational system. Excel Entertainment Group 
Excel Entertainment Group's products deal thematically with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Mormons, including Forever Strong 2008, Midway to Heaven 2011, Saints and Soldiers 2003, and 17 Miracles 2011. The group is based in Salt Lake City, Utah. History On November 15, 2004, Deseret Book announced that it had acquired Excel Entertainment Group, a 10-year-old company particularly known for its LDS cinema productions and record labels Highway Records, Embryo Records, Joyspring Records. Jeff Simpson, the founder and president of Excel, became the merged company's new executive vice president. Both companies are privately held, so terms of the deal were not publicly released. Although some Excel employees were relocated to Shadow Mountain Music at Deseret Book headquarters, most remained at the separate Excel headquarters in Salt Lake City. A reported benefit of the merge was, "...more family-oriented products available in more places". <laughs> <laughs> List of feature releases Subsidiaries <laughs> 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 Topic Seagull Book and Covenant Communications In July 2006, Deseret Book threatened to discontinue sales with another LDS bookstore chain, Seagull Book and Tape, citing marketing differences. Seagull claimed that their discounted prices on Deseret Book's products was the reason for the threat. Seagull Book and Tape competed with Deseret Books retail operation, but depended on the company's published work, which reportedly accounted for most of its sales. After some time, Deseret Book instead opted to renegotiate its distribution contract with Seagull. On December 28, 2006, it was announced that Deseret Book was buying both Seagull Book and Tape and the publisher Covenant Communications, from Lewis Cofford. Company officials said they intended to continue running all three businesses as separate entities. Deseret Book imprints After Deseret Book acquired Bookcraft in 1999, it divided its publishing into four differently marketed imprints, Deseret Book for History and Doctrine, Bookcraft for Self-Help, Family, Children, Women's Interests, and LDS Fiction, Eagle Gate for Art, Niche Markets, Library Editions, and Teaching Aids, and Shadow Mountain for Values Based publications for a national audience. A decade later, the only imprints that remained in use were Deseret Book and Shadow Mountain. In 2012, the Ensign Peak imprint was created for LDS religious writings for a national audience. After acquiring Covenant Communications in 2006, Deseret Book Company did not make it an additional imprint, but continued its independent operations as a publisher alongside Deseret. Deseret Book Publishing. Topic: <laughs> Shadow Mountain Records. The Shadow Mountain Records label primarily emphasizes values-based releases, with artists placing in top spots on the Billboard charts, including Jenny Oakes Baker, a classical violinist, and Billboard No. 1 artist Josh Wright, a classical pianist. 
Hillary Weeks Hillary Weeks, a singer and songwriter of faith-based music with seven completed albums, was born in Colorado and raised in Alaska. She is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and is married with four daughters. Her solo career was launched in 1996 with, "...He Hears Me." Weeks has won multiple Pearl Awards. Other artists Other business Deseret Book operates further business units in addition to its publishing and retail activities. Under the name Zion's Mercantile it produces home décor and religious art and holds events such as women's conferences in the United States and Canada. LDS Living Magazine is an LDS lifestyle magazine in print and online. Deseret Book Direct sells publications through catalogs, email, and the DeseretBook.com website. From 2000 to 2009 it also operated an auctions website for LDS books. Crafts and other handmade items are sold under the name of Mormon Handicraft a brand purchased from the LDS Church's Relief Society in 1986 and food is sold through the Lion House Pantry brand. It also provides the texts of many of its books online with paid subscriptions at gospelink.com. In 2009 selected Deseret Book locations partnered with the LDS Church Distribution Center and began selling official LDS Church items, such as temple garments, which had originally been available only in LDS Church distribution centers. That working relationship has expanded and now half of Deseret Book's 39 stores have been integrated and are half Deseret Book and half distribution centers. Topic See also Deseret Management Corporation Bookcraft Seagull Book <laughs>